Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend Avery and she is going to talk to us about being Miss Heart of the South Teen. So Avery, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I'm Avery McNair. I'm 17 years old. I'm a junior at Simpson Academy. I live in McGee, Mississippi. Um, This is my first year ever competing in the Miss Mississippi Teen Organization. So I'm super excited and yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm, this is my first year competing in Miss, so we're twins. Um, but tell us about your CSI. You know, what is it? Um, what have you been doing with it? And what are your future plans for with it? So my community service initiative is Let's All Be Prepared, Emergency Preparedness for Kids. So back in 2015, my home in Seminary, Mississippi was unfortunately hit by a tornado. And a lot of our belongings were obviously gone. But we were built and everything was fine, but back in 2020, we unfortunately were hit again by an EF4 tornado, and that resulted in my community being completely devastated, and we lost our homes. So I knew that when I joined this organization, I wanted to do something about that and really educate the state on how prevalent that our safety is because we live in Tornado Alley. Like, this happens to us a lot. And so we really need to stay informed. And so my main target would be really kids because as a child going through that, I had no idea what, what would happen, how to go about it. And so my main goal is to teach them the importance of safety, what you can do about it, how you can tell your family to be prepared, your friends and your family and how you can help in your community. I love that. And that's, that's, I mean, unfortunately, really good timing with Rolling Fork. (laughs) Um, right. happening so recently. So that's awesome that that's your CSI. I love that. But talk to us about your talent. You know, what is your talent? What is your background with your talent? How do you go about selecting a piece for, you know, for your state pageant? So I've been playing piano ever since I was in kindergarten. I've played all the way up until I did lose my home. And so when I moved to McGee, I got this brand new keyboard and it basically sat in my room kind of like a decoration like I was scared to touch it and so when I decided to compete again I knew that it was time to literally face the music and you know get back into it and I would say I'm a little bit of an older soul so my song is super entertaining you'll know it when you hear it you're gonna be tapping your foot and so when I went picking the song I knew that I've always played like pretty pieces like I love a good slow piece like don't get me wrong but I was like nah like we're going to like, we're going to have this whole crowd, like tapping their foot, bopping their head. And so this is definitely more out of my comfort zone, but I have loved every single second of getting to learn this piece. And I'm so excited to play it in April. And I hope y'all are so excited to hear it. I love it. You're switching it up. You're switching it up. (laughs) Um, Okay. Final question. It's kind of a hard one. So you can think about it if you need to, but what is your favorite thing about Mississippi? So this is definitely probably a little different, but as a hopeful future business owner, Mm -hmm. I love to see business numbers growing in Mississippi. Like 99.3% of our businesses are small businesses. And I think that's so great. And I love that we just are so supportive of those. And I think that with those growing numbers and growing populations in Mississippi, I think we are such a, we have so much potential Mm -hmm. as a state that kind of can be overlooked. And so I just love to see the direction that our state is going in. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Avery, for coming on and chatting with us a little bit about, you know, you and what you've been doing with your local title this year. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.